Well, be it bullying or a campus intruder, the Carrollton Farmers Branch School District has implemented a new weapon to keep kids safe. RC Pickett is live from Carrollton's Perry Middle School with more on the school safety initiative. Steve? Well, that particular tool that they call uh, Gilman and Ken is called their their phone, their cell phone. Yes, students can actually have their phones in class, and in some cases they can use those phones because on them there's what they say an app for that. In the halls of Perry Middle School, they're packed, but those students pass posted signs. Take action, be aware, do something. We learned about it a couple of weeks ago. For Jacob Garcia and Dulce Solis, those signs are instructions for an app added to their personal phones by the Carrollton Farmers Branch School District. Those phones they can actually have in class. Anonymous alerts are just that. Attached to school district computers in 37 schools here and downloaded now to 25,000 phones belonging to school district students and staff. This app allows the user to report school danger, campus conflict, drugs, or violence. We're focused on a comprehensive approach to student safety um, based on uh, prevention, intervention, and response. And this is a safety tool. The tool lets the user remain anonymous. Students say that may be the security app's best gift of all. Kids can select from a list, report the issue, and keep their privacy. Of the hundreds on this middle school campus, youngsters can tell you why a safety app at their fingertips makes sense. Some people get bullied. Um, kids can get bullied on the bus, and a friend can say something, get bullied in the cafeteria. And some people are just afraid to speak up, and they just need somebody to hear them out. Those students were pretty honest with the suggestion that uh, they don't like snitching. And so if you can use that app from an anonymous standpoint, it will be used. The district says in the past three weeks it has been used. Also, they add, yes, there can be false alarms. You have 25,000 kids, but in the, in the whole scheme of things, they believe this app is worth it. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.